Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my Weekend of Peace Talks reading vlog. I'm so, so excited. If you have no idea what this is, basically my friend Cassidy over at Covers with Cassidy created this incredible competitive readathon called Realmathon that has been going on for three years now. And during the month of the readathon, there is one weekend where we do a 48 hour readathon within and it's just like weekend of peace you get an extra 10 points for every book you finish and i'm just so so excited for this one i have quite a few books that i'm hoping to read so i thought this would be a perfect time to chat about it because we have seven minutes until kickoff sprint so this goes from 7 p.m eastern standard time until set on Friday until 7 p.m. EST on Sunday. So I'm going to be reading pretty much the entirety of this weekend. I do plan on like sleeping, obviously. The biggest break that I will be taking is I am actually going to prom on Saturday, so tomorrow night. Yeah, law school has this weird thing where we like to pretend we're still in high school. So we have a prom every single year and that is tomorrow. So unfortunately it's going to cut into my like reading time, but it's fine. I'm still gonna try to read as much as I possibly can throughout the entirety of this weekend. And yeah, with all that intro, let's chat about the books that I hope to start and finish in the next 48 hours. So. Um, I think the book I'm going to start off with is Hollow Pox by Jessica Townsend. This is the third book in the like Morgan Crow Nevermore series. I want to read this because it's a middle grade, so like the font is pretty big and but it's still like long, like it's over 500 pages, so it'll get me bonus points for length and then it also has half blue on the cover because this is blue and it has an animal on the cover and it's a school setting. Plus, if I read it during this weekend, I get an extra 10 points. So I feel like this is going to be a huge, huge win for team creation um, because I'm going to use this to like defend the realm. And I just think that this would be such a great book to start with. Again, it's middle grade, so it's going to be super fast, easy, and just a fun time. And I read uh, the second book, Wondersmith, um, in January and I really really enjoyed it so I'm, I've been itching to continue on with the series and I can't wait to be caught up because the fourth book is not out yet so that's the first book I want to start with and then we have a lot of options of like where we can go from here I would ideally like to also read The Witch Collector by Carissa Weeks this is on my spring TBR and it's a library book so I really need to finish it before I need to return it. Um, I think I have to return it the first week of April. So I still have some time, but because it is like relatively short, I feel like I should be able to squeeze it in during this readathon. It is like um, around 350 pages. Yeah, it's 343 pages. So I think this is another good like solid book for team creation because it also has blue on the cover. And yeah, I'm very, very excited for this one. And then I have my Kindle for the rest of my reads. So I have Crown of Bones by A.K. Wilder on here. This is also on my spring TBR. This is blue and it has an animal on the cover. So it's going to give me a lot of points again for creation. That's like kind of my mindset is I picked a lot of like blue books or books that had like um, animals on the cover. So I would be able to get those extra points. Um, I also have Voice of War by Jack by Zach Argyle. This has like a light blue cover, almost gray, but like I looked closely and it is light blue so I can count it and it has like little birds or something on the cover. So that will be more bonus points. So I don't know. We, we've got options. I really don't know. I also really want to continue on in the Murderbot Diaries, so I could read Artificial Condition. It wouldn't give me any bonus prompts, but it is just like a quick novella that I could finish in a couple of hours and would get me the extra 10 points for Peace Talks. So that's kind of like the lineup I have going on. Really just these two books and then whatever I'm in the mood for on my Kindle. I don't really know what order. I don't know if I'm going to pick this up right after Holopox. I don't really know what's going on. I'm just going to kind of see where the weekend takes me. I think it's really important to mood read during a 48 hour readathon because um, if I try to like plan things out too much, I will just get too stressed and then not want to read it. Kickoff sprints are starting very soon. I'm so excited to cuddle up on my couch and start this. I think it's going to be 
so much fun and I just I'm so so excited for this readathon I've been looking forward to it all month and I can't believe it's finally here I'm just yeah I'm in a really good mood it's gonna be a good day and I will update you guys once I actually begin reading. Yeah, she sent, um, I got, this is an arc and it has like metallic gold on it. It's it's 11 o'clock and I have made it to page 200 of Holopox and I'm going to call it a night because I'm so tired. I had to like reread some sentences because my brain was simply not computing. So that's a sign that I need to go to sleep, but I am really enjoying this. It has pretty much the same vibe as the other two books have had and it's fun. We're finally getting to know a little bit more about the mystery in this one. Like each one kind of follows a different mystery, something else is going on at the school and I'm excited to uncover it all, but not tonight. I will uncover it tomorrow. It feels like I'm literally in the exact same spot I was last night, but it's the next morning. Well, it's almost noon. Steph is about to start her sprints. Kristen did sprints this morning, and I was able to get through a good chunk of holopox. I'm on page 375 now, so I have about like 170 pages left. I should be able to finish it in the next few hours. I'm reading it pretty like fast it's just a very very long book but i'm hoping it's going to get me a lot of points for just being chunky i do think i'm going to take a break from physically reading though and pop in an audiobook i'm got the audiobooks for the entire wayward children series from my library i'm obviously not going to be able to listen to all of them but i did start down among the sticks and bones which is book two i've already read every heart of doorway by shauna mcguire um and i loved it back when i read it i think in like 2021 or something maybe 2020 honestly i don't know it's been a while but i do remember absolutely adoring it i love the writing style i thought that she put in so much and so little because they are like just novellas and so i started um book two this morning i'm only seven percent in but i was just listening to it while i was making and eating breakfast and i'm already really enjoying it already intrigued so i think i'm gonna pop in the audiobook and clean up my apartment and then eat Lent, and that's kind of what I'll do maybe for like the first two sprints and then we'll go back to hollow pox but I should be able to finish um both of these books today because I'm also going to be getting ready for law prom later and I'm going to be listening to my audiobook while I do that so we're, we're it's slow and steady here but I feel like I'm going to finish a lot of books all at once that's like the vibe that I'm getting so hopefully it's fine I finished a book, which is so exciting. It's currently 427 and I just, I literally just finished Hollow Pox and got Chipotle delivered. So I'm going to eat this for lunch slash dinner. I don't know. So it's, it's a weird time to be eating, but I'm really, really hungry and I don't want to wait until like normal dinner time. Anyways, I finished this book, which first we're obviously going to log the points because that is the most important thing here. So I'm going to pull up the link. This is, I was calculating it earlier and without even fulfilling like the increasing or decreasing prompts, this is getting us 60 points, just like the base rate. And I love that. I think that's so fun and definitely worth um, the amount of time it took to read the book because there are 543 pages. I read it during the 48 hour readathon. So already that's 30 points. And then it has blue on the cover. It has an animal on the cover and it's a school setting. So that's another 30 points. So that's 60 points already. Now let's see what we can use it for a book you paid for it was a required read because i had to read it during the 48 hour readathon it is the final book that is out um because i read it in less than 24 hours i read it in one sitting i think that is all so that gives us 67 69 points defending team creation so that's very very exciting but as for my thoughts i think i'm gonna give this one four stars i really 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 enjoyed it i thought it was better than book two it gave me all the vibes that i was feeling in the first installment there are still issues that i have with this series 
because we have kind of one overarching villain and it feels like it takes a little bit of the mystery out of what's going on because like you kind of know what's going on like you can easily predict what's happening but it's still like such a fun ride the found family in the series is so so incredible especially in this one with cadence and hawthorne i just feel like morgan is really fi finding her people at the um academy and i really liked the plot of this one i think it left off on a little bit of a cliffhanger so i'm very intrigued when the fourth book comes out like wh what's going on because it was pretty intense like we have some situations that morgan has gotten herself into and i just don't know how she's gonna get out of them so i'm a little nervous for her but the humor in the series it's just so like fun like there were so many moments in this where i was literally laughing out loud like i would chuckle out loud and it was just it was great i had such a good time i love learning more about the magic in this one and how we're using the magic i think it's really interesting so this definitely did a lot for me and i'm very very happy i spent the last like 24 hours reading this book seriously though like i said um probably not the smartest decision to read a 550 page book during a 48 hour readathon but it's fine because i got a lot of points so as for Down Among the Sticks and Bones, I am 43% of the way through the audiobook for that one. So I think I'm going to listen to it while I eat lunch slash dinner. And I'm going to start getting ready for tonight, which I'm so excited for you guys. Like I, during one of the breeding sprints, I went down a rabbit hole of like what hair I'm going to do. And I have two options. And I know y'all can't vote, but like, let me know down below which one's your favorite because I like I don't know I'm so conflicted I I guess we'll see what the vibe is but the first one is just like braids because we love a good braid moment well the other one's braids too but this one's kind of like a little tucked behind the ear type thing with like my because I, I do have bangs so I'm gonna like keep the bangs out I don't know I don't know I put it in the bestie chat and we'll see what we what they think but i'm leaning towards the second one because i think i did a similar hairstyle last year at law prom to the first one so i want to be a little a little different you know um and i also have to obviously like do my makeup so while i do my hair and makeup i'm gonna listen to my audiobook and hopefully i can knock that out because it is, I think I have, I have two hours and 20 minutes left and I'm listening to it on two times speed. So yeah, I should definitely be able to finish it while I'm getting ready. And that will be two books for this readathon, even with the million things I have going on. So that's really exciting. But now I'm really, really, really hungry and this clip is way too long. So I'm gonna go and I will update you guys once I've made more progress in my audiobook. I should probably tell you guys how I'm feeling about it. I'm still really enjoying it. I really like Jack and Jill's story. I think they're parents are just awful and i was so annoyed in the beginning like i hate, hate them so so much but like i'm still enjoying the book and i'm very curious to see what's going on in like their portal world because if you don't know the series about a bunch of children that have gone through like portals and discovered new worlds and every odd number book focuses on all of the children at this like school setting essentially and then every even number of books focuses on like one specific student or like one specific world so in this book we are delving into jack and jill's story because they're twins and going into like their world that they discovered through this portal magic it's really really cool very magical whimsical if you like portal magic you'll absolutely adore this series and that is that is, those are my thoughts on this book all right i am almost done getting ready obviously i'm not in my dress or anything but i just finished down among the sticks and bones and i'm gonna give it four stars i really 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 liked this one i loved learning about jack and jill's story honestly i'm debating bumping it up to a 4.5 i just feel like the messages in this one were so powerful because we're following these two twins and their entire life their parents have told them exactly like who to be like jack is known to be the girly girl and is taught to like be the stereotypical girl because her mom wanted a daughter and then jill is taught to be more of a tomboy because her father wanted a boy and they were pigeonholed into these stereotypes and these 
things and these characteristics that they needed to portray their entire life, or at least for the first 12 years until they discovered this portal to a whole new world. And they're finally learning who they are and are given the freedom to be who they want to be and be true, like their true authentic self. And I loved that message so, so much. So I'm really debating bumping it up to a 4.5, but I just, I had a good time. I feel like I I, I think I gave the one, the first book, five stars just because I was so impressed with how much Shauna McGuire put into such like short amount of pages. I don't know if it would be like a legitimate five stars, if that makes sense, but it's still really good. Also, sorry, my hair is like, oh, it's really bothering me. Um, but I wanted to do the little points. So let's fill that out together like we always do. Um, I think it was 187 pages, even though I listened to the audiobook, which doesn't give us any extra points, but we did read it during the um, 48 hour readathon. It is a Cassidy fave because she gave it a four stars, so that's exciting. Um, I don't, I think it is a pseudonym. I don't think Sean McGuire is her actual name. Let's see, required read because I had to read it during the 48 hours. I would say it's a popcorn read because it was so short. 26, 26, so it is an even amount. And I don't think it has an animal on the cover at all. Oh, I wish they had just thrown in a bird in there or something because there's like the sky and yeah, I don't see anything. Um, and it's also obviously not blue. So yeah, submit. Cool, I don't know how many points that was, I forgot to count. Now I'm going to finish getting ready. I really, like, I cannot get my bangs right. Like, I don't know what to do with them because if I just let them fall, like, they look silly. Like, they look really flat, but then if I try to give them a little bit of volume, it's, like, too much. I don't know, I'll figure it out. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. We're going to excuse my hair because I just brushed it out and all of the hairspray just like messed it up. So I'm just going to wash it later after I go to the gym. But I wanted to film an update because I actually started and finished a book this morning. It's the second book in the Murderbot Diaries and it's a novella. So I finished it relatively quickly. I think the audiobook's like three and a half hours. So it flew by and it just didn't make sense for me to update you halfway through like a 150 page book, but I did finish it. So I wanted to, if I can find my phone, um, do the points with you guys before we chat about what I thought of it. All right, I think we're gonna do attack points. I'm gonna attack team shadows, sorry. Uh, the title doesn't it's artificial. You are creating something fake. I don't know. Me trying to justify it, but I don't think so. Um, I don't even know if this is gonna get me any points. To be honest, like I don't know what. It is a book featuring revenge. Um, when was this published? before 2018. It was published in 2018, so I'm not going to count that. Oh my gosh, is this really only going to get us minus two? Um, let's see. I did read the book in one... S I'm trying to increase points now. I did read the book in one setting. I did read it in multiple formats. Okay, we're going to increase. Um, um, it is a popcorn read because it's a novella. They're super quick. Um, yeah, okay, that's five, six. So that gives us 16 points. I don't think this has an animal on the cover. Yeah, it doesn't. And obviously it's not blue. So yeah, there we go. Not a lot of points, but you know what? It's fine. Not every book can be a banger. Um, I did enjoy this one. I gave it 3.5 out of 5 stars. I definitely liked the first one better. I think this one um, was just a pacing issue. Like I think that was my only problem with it because the it took us like four or five chapters to actually get into the plot of book two like we were kind of continuing obviously the aftermath of book one and kind of where um murderbot like our main character ends up but i wanted a little bit more of the plot like i felt like we were kind of just 
hovering over things the like first 15 20 percent and then we finally got into it and then it was good but I also felt like a little bit detached from the story maybe it was because it took us a while to get to the plot so I don't know this one just didn't hit the same as book one but I still really enjoyed it but I still enjoyed it like it was still a good book I think and I'm definitely continuing on with the series, I think the ending was really good. I liked the introduction of Art as a character. I think that Art and Murderbot had good banter and it was funny. So I really like that. I really like Art as a character. Um, and I think I think those are all my thoughts. It's hard to give thoughts about like a novella because I don't want to spoil anything, especially because it's book two and there's also like not a lot going on because it is like 150 pages. So those are kind of my thoughts. I think I have enough time to squeeze in one more book. It's currently 1221 my time and this ends this ends at 6 p.m. my time. So I have five and a half hours left. I think I'm gonna try to do another novella, but I don't know. I might do Beneath the Sugar Sky by Shauna McGuire, which is the third book in the Wayward Children Wayward Children series. But I also want to like switch it up, you know. While I'm looking for an audiobook, I should say, um, obviously I had Law Prom last night and it was so, so much fun. I posted pictures on my Instagram story. So you guys should totally follow me on Instagram if you aren't already. Um, I usually just post like book content, but obviously sometimes I throw in a little bit of my life in there, which is exciting, I hope. Um, but that was so, so much fun. I just, I danced so much. My feet are killing me this morning, but it was, it was a really good time. I'm very, very happy I went. Um, it was good seeing all my friends and just not taking life as seriously last night, which was nice. So I still cannot find an audiobook. So I think, I think I'm going to do Beneath the Sugar Sky, but honestly, I think I'm going to take a break and this sounds bad, but I'm going to watch a movie because I'm so tired. Like I think I went to bed around like 1.30 last night and I woke up at... I can't remember exactly what time. I think Mel Mel's sprints started at 8 a.m. and I was awake for those. So I didn't really get a lot of sleep. So I think I'm going to just kind of lay on the couch and I'm, I've been working on my genre blanket. It's really starting to come along, but you can tell I mostly only read one genre. The gray is sci-fi and then black is fantasy and then maroon is romanticy because if I didn't split those two up, it would literally just be one color. So... That's my little genre blanket update. So I'm gonna work on that because I need to do um, artificial condi artificial condition, like the two rows for that, and watch a movie. Honestly, I'm thinking I'm gonna watch like Ratatouille or Up, something along those vibes, but we shall see. All right, welcome to the end of the vlog. So I didn't end up reading any more like completed books. I did start a longer <laughs> novel just because I was so burnt out from reading short books and just like trying to finish books I don't know my brain just couldn't handle it anymore even though I only read three books during this readathon I was still or this like peace talks I was still so exhausted so I hope you all don't mind that I just like didn't finish another book I did read a good chunk of Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson and I'm enjoying it I'm not as like gripped as I normally am with Brandy Sandy so I'm a little concerned about that but it's still like good I just don't really know where the story is going I'm not quite sure I'm invested in the world and the politics as much as I am typically in his other books so I guess we'll see how this one goes but I did want to do a quick wrap up I did read three books so I read Hollow Pox by Jessica Townsend. I read Down Among the Six and Bones by Shauna McGuire. And last but not least, Artificial Condition by Martha Wells. So the rebooks read for this weekend of Peace Talks. I'm actually pretty happy about that, especially given like I had prom, I still had school, and I just, I'm a busy gal, but I'm glad I was still able to participate and I had a ton of fun. If you made it to the end of the video, then leave me a like peace emoji. And with that, I will see you guys in my next video very, very soon. Bye.